everyone and welcome to the weekly vlog. I'm Chris O'Leary and this week I've got a question that's been sent to me that I'd like to answer for you. So the question is, how do I stay Montessori in the holidays? My children are usually at school and with them home every day, I feel like they're missing out on the Montessori influence. <laughs> it's school holidays here in Australia too and lots of places around the world. So it's a really good question. School holidays are a tricky time. Our usual routines are thrown out, our children are home, we're trying to balance work and kids. So it's, it's a time where it's good to be reminded about how to be more Montessori at home. So I've got my three top tips on how to stay Montessori in the holidays. So my first tip is to present a lesson. So I'm not talking about a pink tower or a brown stair. I'm talking about presenting a lesson at home, something your child can do at home. So it might be mopping the floors. My son actually asked for a lesson on that the other day. It could be making coffees, it's one of my favorites. Um, emptying the dishwasher, planning a meal, writing a shopping list. The important thing is to keep a few, a few things in mind. So one is one step at a time, okay? So don't rush in and show the whole thing. Just do one step at a time so your child's taking it in. Another thing is to show, not tell. So that's what our guides do in a Montessori classroom. So they show the activity, not lots of explanations. In fact, the less words, the better. And the third thing is to step back. So as soon as it looks like your child's got the hang of it, just step back and let them, let them roll. If they make a mistake, just show them that, um, that activity again in a few days. Don't jump in and correct them. So that's the first thing is to present a lesson. My second tip is to have a look at your home environment. Is there something you can be doing at home to help your children be more independent? So it can be quite overwhelming trying to Montessori your whole home. So just look at one thing. It could be putting a step in your kitchen or your bathroom so your child can reach the sink. It might be uh, looking at your toys, culling out the toys, ditch the toy box, throw out all the ones that don't work, have got pieces missing, put out some toys on the shelf with some baskets and trays so that your child can easily see what they've got. They'll get it out, they'll use it and put it back. It'll be amazing. Or set up a drink station. So have a, have a picture there and some glasses so your child can get a drink whenever they want and don't have to have any adult involvement. So just pick one of those things and do them today. The third thing you can do, and this is for perhaps uh, some older children, is to plan a going out activity. They'll love it. So have a chat to your children. What are they interested in? What are they doing at school? If they're doing a, a project on the platypus, perhaps you could do a trip to the zoo. If they are doing a project on a country, perhaps you could go and do some research at the library. So have a think about it, have a chat to your children and make sure they plan the whole thing. So get them thinking about how will we get there? Should we ring and check if it's open? Uh, how much is it gonna cost? Let them do that research and when you're there, remember to stand back and let them run the whole show. So if you're at the supermarket, go through the self-serve aisle. Let them check out the items themselves. Let them ask the zookeeper where the platypus enclosure is. Let them control what's happening on their own excursion. They'll love it. You'll be amazed at how confident they are and how capable they are. So that's my three tips to stay Montessori in the holidays. So think about presenting a lesson at home. Look at your home environment and put one thing in place today to help your child be more independent. And look at a going out activity. And remember to let your child run that activity. So that's it for me this week. Uh, remember to leave a comment below this blog. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next week.